All right, let's do quantitative analysis on the Genesis software part two in the Spectrum tab. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in the previous video is this button here, holographic peak deconvolution. So if you already collected your spectra, if you click on this button, what it'll do is it'll outline the background on the spectrum and where the uh, your Z list element peaks are supposed to be. Now this helps with uh, um, peak overlap if there if you have a lot of elements that uh, are overlapping or maybe perhaps misidentified. So it helps out with that option. So that's the last thing I wanted to mention with uh, the the image tab. Now the spectrum form of quantitative analysis is uh, you'll just get an Excel file with the raw data and you can do some changes and and uh, we'll go over that but so we're basically going to take an analysis in the same area uh, this point right here and you can save this file separately to go along with your Excel file with the, with the raw data so um, and you can save this as let's say we want to just call this Plateau Place 1 okay and then you go over here to the right and hit collect so it's going to collect the spectrum all right that's for 10 live seconds and it's pretty much got the same controls as the image tab except uh, we can expand on a few so this is pretty much the same uh, the automatic peak ID did a pretty good job so we'll just use that again okay now let's check out our Z list make sure we we don't include carbon and oxygen okay now let's close these controls now here you have an option of seeing how the background is calculated if you click on it it'll show you now sometimes maybe the background uh, might not be so accurate so you won't get a uh, an accurate analysis so you can either right now it's on auto but you can make it change it to manual and add points and basically draw your background if you want to do that so you can add points like say you want to add this point to your background whoops that was way off so you can do that if you want to um, I like to stick to auto it does a pretty good job all right that and here under quantification you get to choose your method if you right click in this area you can choose ZAF correction method which is basically uh, uh, it's an atomic w number correction an atomic absorption correction and a fluorescence correction okay uh, and you can also change the type of if you're doing pure elements or oxides in this case we're doing oxides so we'll click on that and uh, ZAF correction okay uh, we're not using standards so we'll hit quantify here and this is your output okay so like the image tab you get your weight percent and oh I think we get mole percent here but we can change that to atomic percent uh, but here's your raw data at the K ratio is is basically the intensity of the element in your sample as compared to the intensity of a pure of the pure element okay and here are your ZAF values so your weight percent ends up being the the K ratio times 100 divided by the ZAF corrections. Okay, and then right here at a, at the bottom, uh, this this is your net intensity, so the raw data, uh, your background, and all this uh, raw data, and and you can save yourself as an Excel file. Um, here it'll give you information about the system. KV, the tilt, takeoff angle, amp time, uh, the the window you use, 
and the uh, count time, the preset live seconds, 10 live seconds to analyze this. And so you can save this along with the image file if you want to. So you can press OK. It's been quantified. All right, and the way you would save it is right here. You could, let's move this over a little bit. Hit File, Save As, and it'll say, you can save it as oh, Spectrum Files. All right, and then choose a folder, create a folder for yourself. A lot of times I like to put it in my documents or somewhere where I can easily find it. And if you want this information, then you can ask us to uh, email it to you. Let's try this again. You can edit the, uh, the output for your raw data with different options here. Okay, and you can print the results as well. So that's pretty much it for the spectrum analysis. Uh, if you want to do another point, you can clear your data here, go back to the image tab, and find yourself another point. Maybe analyze this phase. And that's it. Thanks.